I recently got a question on one of my videos from Jay Reed. He said, hey, I was wondering if you could make a video on the different groove that each grid gives us, please. And basically what he's asking about is for me to explain snap, step and grid points and how to use that. So in this video, I'm going to do exactly that. I'm about to reveal which snap settings you should use for what so you can make better music faster. By the end of this video, you'll know what grid settings to use for all your needs. So make sure you stick through to the end and let's get into it. So we're going to split this into two parts. We're going to do the piano roll and we're going to do the playlist. OK, so first of all, the piano roll, the most common snap that you're going to be using in the piano roll is half beat and quarter beat. Now, the reason why you'd use these is because it's just really easy to play stuff. So for example, if you go in threes, it's very easy to make a 808 pattern like so. And then we go over here and then there you go. Easy 808 pattern, okay? So that's an easy way to use the half beat. Also, if you're making melodies, it's also an easy way to make some good melodies. So let's go and let's just Hmm, how's this gonna work? Let's copy this to another pattern so that we can actually listen back to this sort of stuff and then play this back. So very, very easy. Of course, I wouldn't make a melody like that, but I'm just showing you how easy it is to basically use this and get some easy stuff out. So this would be basic placement of MIDI notes and hi-hat rolls. You'd use half beat and quarter beat. Now half beat would be for all your notes and, mm. and midi notes and stuff like that. While quarter beat would be what you'd use when you want to get to hi-hat rolls. For example, mm. if I wanted to turn this into a hi-hat roll, I'd select this, I'd press Alt U, and then in quarter beat, I can get a very, very easy hi-hat roll like that. So that's what you'd use that for. Then we've got half or quarter step, which is way more segmented than half and quarter beat. So this is half step, this is half beat, okay? So you see we've got more lines and columns in half step. This is what you wanna use for more fine-tuned MIDI placement. Generally, you're gonna use half step more than quarter step, but quarter step can help you out if you've got something interesting that you wanna try out and you've got some like weird timings that you wanna try. But generally, I'd use quarter step. For example, if I wanted, you know, a melody that was just a little bit offbeat. Let's go maybe there. Like that beat. And if we went to like quarter step, that would be completely off. It's just a bit, a bit off, but not too off. That would be the step that I use. Quarter step or half step. But generally half step. But if you're using quarter step, you can basically use the same spacing that you use on quarter step. So this is why these are very interchangeable. The reason why you use the one with smaller divisions and a higher fraction, for example, if you're using half step, the reason why you use quarter step is so you have even more freedom to move in between those steps, okay? So that's how that works. Then the next step or snap that you'd use is third beat and sixth beat. And the reason why you use these is for spicier hi-hat rolls and certain step rhythms if you're using the third beat. For example, I'm terrible at doing these step rhythms to be fair, so I'm re really not gonna do much here. But let's just say that's a let's just say that's a third rhythm but generally i'd use third beat or six beat to get me some spicy hi-hat rolls because they just sound a little bit more interesting those are the snaps and steps you want to use in the piano roll pretty much everything else i would generally leave alone i wouldn't use third step or six step or anything like that now and again you can use bar actually so let's get into that the reason why you'd use bar is for example let's go to quarter beat and let's just quickly say we made a chord progression like so, okay? So we've got a chord progression and I'm just gonna lay this out. I'm not even gonna quantize it. This is our chord progression, okay? Now, if you wanted to copy this over here, if you use half beat, there's always a chance that you'll be just a little bit off. You might, you know, not get it right. It's even harder if you go like quarter beat or something like that, even more chance you're gonna get off. 
the easiest way to make sure that everything is perfectly on beat is to change it to bar and then just move it across then everything's going to be exactly where it was on the previous four bars that's what you use bar for in the piano roll if you want to learn how to make your own trap beats at home you can use my easy nine step trap beat making formula for absolutely free in my free music production course the link is down below or go to jcarterray.com forward slash free trap course the best thing about this course is it takes you from making your melody all the way to mastering your beat actually that's not the best thing about it the best thing about it is that it's absolutely free so you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to join this course while it's still free and available right now because it won't be free and available forever so join it while you still can link down below now back into the video how do we use these snaps for playlists very very easy there are only a couple snaps that we'd use for the playlist or maybe three now in the playlist we're basically structuring our beats so really here you want to use bar most of the time because it makes it very easy to move things from places to places generally you're going to be creating things in four to eight bar loops so you can easily move these along and they won't be off time because you didn't realize that you accidentally you know moved it a little bit over when you shouldn't have so bar would be your main use for your playlist that's the main snap that you'd use up here down to bar the next two that you may use is half beat or quarter beat and the only reason you'd really use half beat or quarter beat is for transitions so for example if we come over here to our drums you can see we've got some transitions over here play this back this is what it sounds like oh i've got to turn everything on this is what it sounds like so as you can see everything stops on the clap which is where i like to you know do some transition certain times and basically with this the thing that's going on here is we have basically gone to quarter beat and then we've just come in and hit that clap sorry i mean half beat we could use quarter beat if we needed even more like fine tuning but usually half beat will do the job that's how you use the grid those are the grid settings you need to know about to make the best beats you can and that's how you can use the grid to change up grooves of things and to make beats that sound good i hope i explain things pretty well let me know in the comment section down below if i did or i didn't and hopefully i can help with any issues that you may have if you've got any questions or any other videos that you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below be sure to check out the description because there's a lot of helpful links in there and check out that video next and i'll see you in the next one peace out